Hey guys, it's CGW317 here. Uh, sorry for not recording a video in a while. Um, I've kind of been busy with, you know, Christmas break and everything. Uh, and my dad had surgery, so it was just eh, very busy. But anyway, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to build another one of my metal gyros. This is Whiplash MG. And, uh, he's pretty simple, if you know how to make him. So that's why I'm gonna teach you. Um, he's a very good attack type. And he likes to, I don't know. Um, what do you call it? Like, it looks kind of cool when he's spinning. It looks like a mirage, almost. So, yeah. So I'm going to teach you how to build it. Let's start with the base. To start, you're going to need one of these one by one disc thingamabobs. Don't know their proper name. And a stud. Oops. Any stud. And you just place it into the center. Sorry if you can't see that. So it should look like this. This is the bottom. And then. Sorry for any noises. Those are my little brothers. They're going to bed, so. They're a bit feisty, but anyway. Next, you're going to want one of these disc pieces. And you're just going to stick it in the middle and make this nice um, base type thing. Take a circular 2x2 two two piece and place it in the middle, like so. Take two half octagon pieces. Do you know what to do by now? No. The usual. Nothing new. Okay. So, next you need a uh, type. It's kind of a 4x4, four four, but it's a circular one. Like, it's a little smaller than the actual 4x4 four four because it's rounded, but it's about the shape of a 4x4. Four four. You just take it and you can place it right in the center. Okay? So now you have your base done. Next, we are going to make these um, quarter pieces. I'll show you how to make um, both of them. I'm not going to deconstruct all four of them, but I'll show you how to make the two different ones, okay? So, to start, eventually they're going to go together like this to create half, and then you'll put them together later. But I'll show you how to make each one. So, this is one of them. So get a, a quarter circular piece and a quarter diamond piece and, you know, do that. Do the usual. And then take a wing, a 1x4 wing, and just place it right here, leaving one row. Then take a, a L-shaped piece and you stick it right there. There. So you got that. So I'll make two of them. And then for the other one, it's actually probably simpler. Uh, so you want to do the same thing. Basically stacking the circular quarter on top of the diamond quarter. And then you need to get a 3x3 uh, three three quarter piece, a smaller one. And then you're going to want to take it and place it right on this corner. Like this. Still leaving that one row. So now, after you make two of those, it gets really simple. Take your base, take one of these pieces, these, one of the, um, one of, put it like that. Take a different one. Okay, put it like that. Well, actually, you want to do both of the, um, you want to do both of these ones at the same time before you do the other two. And I'll show you why in a second. And then you place the other two. Now the reason that you have to place them in this order is because these L-shaped pieces, they link it all together nicely. And it won't work if it alternates pattern, but it does eventually alternate. You know what I mean? Then you take one final 2x2, two two, circular. And that will be the face bolt. And you have Whiplash MG. 
And I'm going to quickly hand spin it and I will end off the video. So, as you can see, it's a little shaky, like I said. I couldn't really describe it, but it's a little just like shaky. It looks kind of cool. Anyway, if you like this video, obviously like it. Um, subscribe to me, and feedback is always welcome if you want to give me like a suggestion on a type of gameplay to do. So yeah, next video I will be covering Basilix MG, so you get to figure out how to make him. Thanks for watching.